हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर हेमंत डी लगदीवे वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम एन बी नवले सिंहगढ़ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग शोलापुर आई हैव ट्वेंटी इयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ड्राइंग व्हाट इज ड्राइंग ड्राइंग ऑपरेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मिंग अ फ्लैट पीस ऑफ मटीरियल दैट इज ब्लैंक इन टू ए हॉलो शेप by means of a punch which causes the blank to flow into the die cavity few of the examples of the products which are manufactured by drawing process are there on the screen we can see some of the tins some utensils some bottles some are manufactured by this process some more examples of utensils we can observe on the screen drawing parameters so on the screen we observe there is a punch and a die and in between punch and die we observe there is a sheet metal punch will force punch will force the sheet metal into the die and it will exert the pressure on the sheet metal to acquire the shape of the die so in the bottom most sketch it is shown that before drawing the sheet metal has some diameter and thickness and after drawing how it will get converted into a cup without flanges that is shown that cup is having diameter d capital d and height as small h so drawing of cup shaped parts cup shaped part before before the punch contacts the work is shown in first sketch and near end of the stroke how the cup is formed that is shown in the sketch let us go for types of drawing the depth of draw may be shallow moderate or deep or the types of draw may be shallow moderate or deep if depth of the formed cup is up to half its diameter then it is called as shallow drawing if depth of formed cup exceeds diameter it is called as deeper drawing same thing is shown towards left we observe sheet metal blank and towards right the part which is formed and it is very clear from the first sketch that shallow drawing is shown where h small h is the height of the cup which is drawn which is equal to half of the diameter of the cup to be formed therefore these are very important types of drawing we have seen let us go for how to calculate the blank size what is blank blank is nothing but the sheet metal which is required to cup formation for the cup formation right blank size calculation can it is a function of d by r ratio what is d small d is the diameter of finished shell and r is the radius of bottom corner therefore if d by r is greater than or equal to 20 then blank size for such case will be calculated by the formula capital d will be equal to square root of small d square plus 4 dh where capital d is diameter of flat blank in millimeters small d is diameter of finished shell in millimeters h is height of finished shell in millimeters and r small r is the radius of bottom corner in millimeters when d by r is between 15 to 20 then capital d is calculated by the formula square root of d square plus 4 dh from this if we deduct 0.5 times r 0.5 r we will get capital d for the case when d by r is equal to 15 to 20 after that we go for trimming allowance trimming allowance is provided for 
the extra material which is to be added to the blank blank diameter for e for the case according to thumb rule about 3.2 mm extra material is added to the blank diameter for each 25 mm of shell diameter or cup diameter for example if the diameter of the cup is 50 mm then trimming allowance is to be added as 6.4 mm like that it goes how we calculate trimming allowance therefore the actual blank size will be capital d will be equal to theoretical blank size plus trimming allowance we can find out draw ratio by the formula h by d small h is the height of the cup to be drawn small d is the diameter of cup to be drawn now from this height to diameter ratio we can find out how many number of draws are required to get the finished shell or finished cup so number of draws <coughs> are depending upon height to diameter ratio if height to diameter h by d ratio is up to 0.7 total number of draws will be 1 that means in a single draw we can get that finished shell if height to diameter ratio is between 0.7 to 1.5 total we require two number of draws and if height to diameter ratio is between 1.5 to 3 we require three number of draws for that cup to be drawn percentage reduction percentage reduction is given by the formula capital d minus small d divided by capital d into 100 where capital d is the blank diameter and small d is diameter of cup to be formed therefore for first draw percentage reduction is restricted to 45% for the second draw percentage reduction is 30% of that and for third draw percentage reduction is 25% for fourth it is 16% and for fifth it is 13% which we observe on the screen <clears throat> then we can talk about clearance this is the clearance between punch and die dimensions the average draw clearance is given as it is a function of blank thickness if blank thickness is up to 0.38 mm for the first draw the clearance between punch and die dimensions is 1.07 times t to 1.09 times t that means average of 1.08 times thickness of that sheet metal similarly for redraw the the clearance will be 1.08 to 1.1 times thickness like that if blank thickness varies we can see from the table we can see from the screen that the clearance can be taken and these clearance this clearance we can use while going for designing punch and die for the first draw assume first reduction b 45% therefore diameter of cup at the end of first draw is small d1 which is calculated as small d1 is equal to capital d minus 0.45 times d and height of the cup at the end of first draw is h1 h1 is equal to capital d square minus small d1 square divided by 4 into d1 for second draw the reduction as we know reduction b 30% so diameter of cup at the second draw d2 will be equal to d1 minus 0.30 times d1 height of cup at the end of second draw that is h2 h2 is given by capital d square minus small d2 square divided by 4 into d2 next point is punch and die sizes punch diameter for the first draw is calculated by pd1 is equal to d1 minus 2 into t 
where T is thickness and D1 is diameter at the end of first row. Die opening diameter for the first row will be capital D small D1 is equal to PD1 plus 2 into C1 where C1 is clearance for the first row. Punch diameter for second row PD2 will be equal to D2 minus 2T and die opening diameter for the second row that is DD2 will be equal to PD2 plus 2 times C2 where C2 is clearance for the second row. Then let us talk about drawing pressure or drawing force. Force needed to draw the shell is equal to product of the cross sectional area and yield strength in tension of the sheet metal material or work material. For cylindrical shells this drawing force is calculated by pi into small d into t into sigma y t into bracket capital D divided by small d minus c where sigma y t is yield strength of that sheet metal material. Blank holding force and ironing force. The force needed to keep that blank in the position till the cup is drawn he is calculated, he is taken approximately as one third of drawing force that is FD as well as ironing force that is the compensation for friction between punch and sheet metal and the die is taken as ironing force. That ironing force is also taken as one third of drawing force. Therefore, we can find out press capacity. Press capacity can be cal calculated as drawing force plus blank holding force plus ironing force. If these forces are in newtons, we will get press capacity also in newtons. If these forces are in kgs, we will get press capacity in kgs. And the last point that is corner radius, punch corner radius. For the first draw, punch corner radius is taken as 4 times thickness of sheet metal. And for the redraw, that is second draw, third draw, fourth draw or rest of the draws, punch corner radius is taken as 3 times T to 6 times T. One can take it as 3T, one can take it as 4T, 5T or 6T. At the same time, die corner radius is taken as 4T to 10 times thickness of that sheet metal.